Hello everyone and welcome back to Techrams. In this video, I will show you how to import Excel tables into my SQL Workbench. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've been working with Excel data and now you want to transfer it into a MySQL database? Well, today I will guide you through the process in just a few minutes. Firstly, make sure your Excel data is prepared. So, I have my data here. If your data isn't already in table formats like mine, I recommend converting it into one. This will help my SQL Workbench easily identify the column names and streamline the import process. So, press Ctrl T, then check this box and enter. Now, before we dive into my SQL, there is one more step. You need to save your Excel data as a CSV file. CSV is a compatible format for my SQL. If you have multiple sheets with various tables, you will need to save them separately. Separately navigate to each sheet, choose save as, select CSV as a file type and save it. In this tutorial, I will be working with a single sheet. So I will go to file, then save as, select the CSV format, that's command delimiter and save it. Remember to note the location of the file. Now let's open my SQL Workbench. If you already have a database you want to use, that's great. If not, we will create a new database. Assuming we don't have an existing one, we will use the command create database followed by the database name. In my case, I will use tutorial underscore db. Terminate. Let's also use the database after creating it by executing use then the database name tutorial db terminate and execute. Now our database is created. So refresh the schema panel here and that is it. Our database is created. Next, expand the database in the schema here and right click on tables. So if you already had a database you just expand it and right click on tables under your database. From the options here, select table data import wizard. In the first window of the wizard, you will select the file. Browse to your Excel sheet by clicking here, then select it and click open. Then click next to continue. In this window, ensure that the correct database for importing the table is selected. You can also change the table name here if you want. Check the box to drop the table if it exists. And then click next to proceed. Now, in the import settings configuration window, my SQL Workbench automatically maps the columns and their data types in your Excel data. You can change the data types here if you want. And preview the data here. Once you are satisfied, click next to continue. To execute the import process, click next to execute as it says here. Once the execution is complete, click next again. Here you will see a summary of the number of rows imported into the table. In my case, it says 25 reports imported. Fantastic. Now let's tie it all together. Click finish to conclude the process. Refresh the schema panel and there is it our table residing in the database. You are now ready to write queries and interact with your data. If you need assistance with SQL queries, feel free to check out my SQL tutorial series. So for example, let's execute a query to retrieve all the data from the table. So select all from customers. Execute the query. And there you have it. Congratulations. You've successfully imported your Excel tables into my SQL Workbench. I hope this tutorial has been helpful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, please don't hesitate to let me know in the comments below. And before you go, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more informative tutorials like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.